yeah welcome back my name is sunil yadav thanks for watching my uh, other video so in this short lecture we are going to learn about in tune device categorization and how we can create the dynamic group when user uh, when user have enrolled the device in in tune in that time user need to select the specific categorization that after that user device should be come in a like a directly come inside a dynamic group so we can like a, we have created very short video to explain what are the importance for the device categorization in a big environment how you can manage suppose you working on any big environment you have a lots of uh, department like a point of sale kiosk r&d team so all departments have want a unique application so you need to identify the machines or you can how you can identify the machine how you can these types of tasks you can automate so let's jump to the intune portal so this is a my microsoft intune admin portal so when you click on home button so you um, just go a little bit down so you can see here is the other section device categorization what is the basically meaning of the device categorization create the device like uh, create a device categorization to help organize device and build a dynamic group so when user like uh, enrolling the device in intune in that time that's from the categorization window user need to select the uh, like a which uh, which department user belongs so user can select the department during the enrollment process when user device enrolled successfully that device uh, automatically fall inside the specific dynamic group which we have create uh, create in this video so that is the advantage uh, of creating the dynamic group so how we can do that so just you can click on device categorization create the device so for the example we have created these are the five categorizations so first as the kiosk device we just copy the name as kiosk and this is described this is only for kiosk devices that's it next and finish let me create another category just just do it copy and we want like a bring one device bsod this is for only only bsod bring one devices that's it so first we can create multiple categorization as per your requirement like you want hr department device in another this is for only hr department we can create point of sales sales team last not least like like r and d team research and development team we can create that's it so we have done the first step we have identified what are the uh, like uh, uh, categorized category we required 
what are the users have in like in your organization first you need to identify the which types of device which types of department or users belongs in your location what are the like which types of devices you want to enroll in into in portal so we as for the reference we have created five different categories so first step done so what how we can create the dynamic group so when suppose when user any users belong to kiosk device kiosk team or any you want if any device enroll in a kiosk profile so kiosk profile enroll device that should be automatically move in a dynamic group so how we can create the dynamic group so first we create the device category categories then we go to the device groups either you can create group on the intern portal or you can create on azure portal both are interconnected so i can create one in a intern portal another create in a azure portal i can show both okay so go to the device uh, users click on new users select the security put the name so uh, in my case like i want all kiosk device first we have created all dynamic dynamic kiosk devices okay let me copy just for the reference we need to not type again and again okay. membership you want automate this process you no need to add all device kiosk devices one by one so you need to select the dynamic devices then you need to click on click on add query okay so what are the what is your basically what is your goal so you want to uh, like when user enroll any device in a intune portal the enrollment during the enrollment process device category should be appear in user in and user need to select the category which category users belongs when user select the category after enrollment successfully installed then device should be automatically fall in the defined category if, if you have a, like a, in a point of sale you need to deploy some specific application which only belong for the sales team and you have already deployed all required specific application on the sales let let me first create the dynamic group so you need to select the property as device category operator should be as equal and value as which value you need to put at the kiosk you have created the kiosk category that should be as similar value you need to put here as a value then uh, queries created automatically automatically so you can see here if any device category is equal to kiosk that device should be automatically come inside this group yeah is it created let me create wait a minute so it will let me create one more quickly and just paste it enter the name and copy it all dynamic bsod you need to describe the group if you want you can like put the personal own devices select device category as dynamic and click on add query you need to again select the device category operator as equal to 
and your category name is this you need to copy this name and paste it here that's it it's created the first dynamic group is appear and one we can create one another from azure portal for your reference sorry click on azure ready then go to the where is the groups you can click on groups as you can see here just we have created to dynamic that should be also appear on the azure portal as well you can you need to click on new groups group type should be as security you need to select the SAR department this one dynamic head query device category SR department that's it so for reference we have created three let me create all group quickly point of cell group name all by devices it was missing a last group anyway device category is equal to this save it so what are the benefits why we have created these are the group let's suppose i am a user i am belong on the sr department and uh, like any space point of sale department so if we have if you have deployed the some set of any specific application on only for hr department how you can manage it so if any you don't know in a future how many users are joining a sales team or how many users are joining a uh, r and d team so you can just only create the device category category and associate with the dynamic query device category is equal to this like a category name if any device enroll in a during the enrollment phase that prompt come user need to select the device category when user select the device category after the enrollment completed that device automatically come inside the dynamic collection and you have already deployed the all specific department related application on the device collection which device collection which device group sorry not a collection which device device group you have created in a past like this you can deploy the all point of sales related specific applications on this device point of sale dynamic collections okay so when the user enroll the device device should come automatically in this group and all required application should be stored that is the benefit for creating the any specific categorization suppose you have also allowed to user will enroll the person own devices but you need to uh, like restrict some policies or you need to identify how many devices are personal own device in in your environment so you have created the device categorization and when user enroll the machine that device should be come inside the specific collection and you have deployed some specific application which only belongs to the person on devices so you can automate all this process so 
that is the basically easy to work on the large scale environment so that's it in this video we have uh, 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 so how you can create the dynamic collection along with device category so uh, this is the third video of the interview series in the coming days we will cover all i decided to cover step by step in the last video we have talk about the device category device restrictions device like uh, let me show you this is the new intune graphics user interface just released in a few days back so microsoft is already working on to improve the look and feel so thanks for watching my another video please do subscribe my channel and share with your friends and teammates i will try to give some like uh, give some i want basically i want to share the my knowledge for all in the technical community i'm also uh learn day by day all microsoft have released the new features so in coming video we can talk about each and every sections very very deep so thanks for watching my video keep keep watching and supporting thank you